Just go like this. Whoop. Done. See, I don't know how I'm going to do that when my omelette looks like this. I'm literally losing the will to live at this point. Good morning. I hope you're all doing well. I have recently moved to London. I've been here for like a few days now. This is my kitchen. It's very old school, very vintage. And yes, I have two microwaves. And no, I don't know why it's like that either. I don't cook. I don't like cooking. I, uh, it just stresses me out. I'm not very good at it. So I pretty much just stick to like the oven and microwave region. I haven't used this yet. I don't even know how to use it. I'm gonna figure that out today. I haven't gone shopping for the flat yet. Um, so I'm gonna be relying on whatever's in this kitchen, whatever they've given me. I noticed they have given me some supplies here. This is my friend Con. We actually filmed a video on his channel where we swapped diets for a day. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Definitely go check it out. So Taz has recently moved into London and as her best friend in London, I will claim that title. I thought I could give her a helping hand and teach her some new recipes that she can cook at her new house. So, recipe number one incoming Taz right now. For breakfast, I am having... So the ingredients are eggs, milk, avocado, lemon, tomatoes, smoked salmon, cream cheese, baked cheese, salt, and bagels. This is not what I was expecting. This is very different to what I normally eat. This is all the ingredients for breakfast. It's a little intense, I'm not gonna lie. Seems like a lot of things. Khan has sent me video instructions that go step by step. So, if I just follow that, I should be fine. Key with this should. I'm working on limited uh, cutlery supplies. Found a pan. Found a pan. Oh, I don't have a chopping board. I found the knives. I don't have a toaster. So I don't have a toaster, but I have this grill, which I'm gonna use for the first time today. I'm gonna be using a lot of things for the first time today. This is one of my favorite uh, ways to make the guacamole. I feel like it's pretty simple and very tasty. Oh, it's so squid, squidgy. Is it meant to be brown? Is it meant to look like that? It's an avocado. Thanks. To remove the seed with a sharp knife, just smash it into the seed and then it should get stuck to your knife and then you should be able to remove it. And then get a spoon and scoop out the avocado. Oh no! Oh, why does my avocado look like that? That doesn't look very appetizing. It's really brown and bushy. So I've mushed mine up enough. You don't want it like super mushed up just just a little bit oh mix that up you don't have to squish this around squeeze just a tiny bit of lemon and mix it around let the flavors infuse i'm trying to scrape out all the brown parts but that's like all of it so mushy avocado i'm ruining my plates note to self must buy a chopping board and a pinch of salt do we salt bit okay that's way too much salt I didn't think this through, did I? Salt. Now we just mix it all up. I present to you my guacamole. It's so bad, my camera doesn't even want to focus on it. Now, on to making the omelette. Grab two eggs, smash them into the bowl, and then add just a dash of milk, not too much. One, two, three. Okay, got egg everywhere. Never do that again, Taz. Once you've mixed it enough, just pour it into a pan and leave it on a low heat. This is my pan. Okay, how do I actually do this? Oh no, I don't know how to use it. See how I'm trying to move it, but it doesn't budge? I'm like, nothing works. You need to chat to your landlord. Oh. How are we gonna... Oh bless you, you've done the omelette and everything. I did everything, look at my guacamole. It looks... That looks great. I have, I have faith in you that you can make it work. I mean, I can't even turn the thing on. I will get back to you. I haven't eaten, it's nearly, it's one o'clock. I usually have my breakfast at 10. So I'm gonna now call my landlord to figure out how to turn this thing on. Just the everyday struggles of doing breakfast with Taz. Do you know what type of cooker it is? A gas cooker? Have you switched it off by the mains as well? I don't know where the mains are. Right, okay. Oh, do you mean this thing at the top here? No, oh, totally okay, fun. that's the fan. So which one is the on one? Is there any other switch on the wall or anything like that at 
Oh, I don't know what to do. Symptom, there is no spark when lighting the gas. Correct. Solution, check that the unit is plugged in and the electrical supply is switched on. Oh, maybe it's down here. Oh, okay. Oh my God, okay. I think I figured it out. Oh, yes. Okay, we're in business now. Hey! Yes. Okay, we have lift off. Okay, we can actually put omelette now. You've just turned off. Stopped working, I spoke too soon. It was literally working two seconds ago and now it decided it doesn't want to anymore. Oh my god. I'm literally losing the will to live at this point. You know what? I don't want an omelette. I don't want a salmon bagel. I don't want any of this. It's only the start of the day and I'm already having a breakdown. Ugh, oh, okay. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. Slight intermission while Taz goes and Ray assesses her life choices. I've decided to come back. I've calmed myself down. I've composed myself. I'm going to ignore the fact that my whole kitchen that smells of gas and that I could potentially light this whole place up. You know, just little things. We got one to work, so... I've never been so excited to see a flame in my life. Even if it is on the tiniest one. But you know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to take what I can get on this channel. That is my beautiful flame. Let's go make my omelette. The pan you're using should be good enough for you to unstick the whole thing. I'm pretty sure that's not a non-stick pan. I also don't have a spatula. I've got a spoon. I'm just going to let it do its thing, marinate in the pan, stick to the surface and then scrape it off and flip it in a couple of minutes. Sorted. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's burning. I'm just really concerned about this situation right here. Why is she like this? Oh, it's sticking to the pan. I honestly want to cry right now. Can I just give up? It's like a pancake. Oh no. Look at that. Throw the whole pan away, I see. If I flip it in half, I mean just go like this. Whoop. Done. See, I don't know how I'm going to do that when my omelette looks like this. Cheese. Here we have the cheese. Here we have the omelette. Sorted. Whoop. Done. It's basically the same thing. My omelette with a slice of cheese. Truly gourmet cooking. Just gonna perfectly plate this like so. I have packed up my whole life from Cardiff, traveled all the way to London. I painted this whole flat. I sorted out all my bills, the council tax, the parking permit and nothing has been as stressful as this. Genuinely the most stressed I've been throughout this whole moving process. Just stick with beans and toast. You honestly can't go wrong with beans and toast. I've never wanted beans so much in my life. So now we're gonna grill the bagel and then plate my creation. Base layer is Philadelphia cream cheese. Ooh. The next thing is the fish, the part that I'm most terrified of. Something about the thought of having raw fish that really freaks me out. It's not natural. It's not. Ooh. You're gonna get your salmon. And you're just gonna splat it on. Can you please come off now? I don't want to particularly touch it, to be honest with you. Oh, there we go. Who's going to tell her that she's not supposed to put the whole thing on? Here's your salmon. As you can see, there's leftovers over here so you can make I mean, you can make this for two people way to make a girl feel single you can have this for two people i live by myself con there is no two people i might even say we could go less on the x oh look at that and that's it and then you just go ahead close that i think i'm just going to take this section place on top do you see that my creation and i present you the salmon doesn't look that bad, you know. I think it looks quite nice. I like the colours of it. I think it's a very colourful piece. Very pretty to look at. Now, whether it's going to taste good is a whole other story. And to be honest with you, I don't really want to try it. I'm kind of scared to try it. Anything with raw fish and me in the equation just seems like a bad idea. And we've got egg on top of that, and fake cheese, and then the gone off avocado. What could possibly go wrong? It only took me two hours and three mental breakdowns um but we got there in the end and i'm gonna be having breakfast at the fine hour of 
two o'clock. The taste test. Mmm. I think I've got some on my teeth. Oh, I'm eating here. You know what? It's actually not that bad. I actually really like the smoked salmon. It tastes like wood. Like it's got a really woody taste to it. But at the same time, I quite like it. And I don't mind the avocado. Whoa. It's not the easiest thing to eat because everything just comes out. So it's a bit of a struggle, but I take it back. I don't like avocado. I don't like avocado. I don't know why I did that. There's a lot of different flavors going on. It's really confusing to figure out what I'm eating. But yeah, I like it. I actually really like it. It actually tastes really good. I'd give it like a seven out of 10. Whoa. I just heard him say that loud and even I'm shocked. A nightmare to make and a nightmare to eat. And definitely won't make it again because it's way too much fat. But it tastes good, you know? If you're good at cooking and you enjoy this kind of thing, you're gonna love it. I like it. I'll probably finish the whole thing off. Um, but we'll not ever make it again. Ever. In my life. I am not going through that process again. That was traumatic. Better than that, it's fine. I've got cream cheese on my mic. This has been fun. Hasn't it just? That was my first time cooking in this kitchen. Probably my last. We did it. We made a salmon bagel. And we also figured out how to use my cooker. It's just been a day of growth and learning, you know? We're just evolving as a human being with each experience. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I think the salmon's gone to my head. I hope you guys enjoyed my first ever cooking video in my new flat. I'm sure there's many to come. Let's hope I improve. I really do want to get better, but things just keep going wrong and I don't know why. I hope you guys can tell that I'm really tired. I can't believe this actually tasted good. Mad, after all of that, and it actually tasted all right. Mind blown. Turns out I like smoked salmon. Wild. We learn something new every single day. I am widening my taste buds. And avocado actually isn't that bad. I think you could say I am evolving as a human being. But yeah, that's enough of the kitchen. I've had enough of the kitchen. I'm done with the kitchen for the day. Let me know what I should try cooking next. Thank you so much for watching. I love you lots. And I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye.